Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to our Carlsberg Success Story interview today. We have a very special guest. Uh, we start Before we start our meeting, uh, first of all, let me introduce myself and give the audience uh, some brief information about the purpose of why we are doing uh, Vispera Success Interviews. I'm Jae Hun. Uh, I am one of the co-founders and co-CEO of Vispera. I am by formation a computer vision and machine learning expert. I did my PhD in these domains. Since 12 years, I've been developing and building products and teams uh, for bringing AI into the reach uh, of, the, of the world out there. And since 2014, uh, I am on this mission with Vispera as a founder and now a co-CEO to uh, bring image recognition uh, to, to produce image recognition solutions for the retail and FMCG industry. Uh, today, we have with us uh, Karsberg Poland's uh, Mr. Michal Bobrowski, who is a route to market manager in uh, Karsberg for several years. Uh, Michal, great to, great to join us today. Uh, would you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us about Karsberg and how uh, the Karsberg and Vispera story started? Uh, thank you for having me here, Jehun. I'm, I'm really excited excited to to share our success story with you. Uh, let me introduce myself for a minute. I'm a professional on the on the business in the business uh, since uh, 19, 1990s, so it's over 30 years. Uh, I've been working B two B in market research in consultancy, but last 15 years, this is within Karlsberg Polska. Uh, where I was just taking the roles with uh, business development mainly. So all the reporting, all the systems, and just keeping this close to the customers. This is my biggest role. And this is what we are just talking today about. You know, this is about Halberg, who is the you know, one of the biggest brewers in the world. And always just uh, concentrating on improvements, on being close to the customers. So then we make the customers uh, happy and then just the consumers more bound to, to 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 our to our brands so uh in that let's say in that case we just wanted to have a um, we have we wanted to have a tool that would improve our retail execution that would uh, just improve our retail efficiency and this pair was just a perfect match for for this so once we just did it we see the significant improvements in our in our processes our our people work better. They could spot the issues uh, faster and resolve them promptly. So, this is exactly what we wanted. We are very happy just to have this solution, and uh, we will just go in details in a minute, I guess. Uh, great to hear. Uh, the the sentiment is mutual. I mean, and the Karspark was a uh, Karspark Poland in particular was a perfect occasion for us to develop uh, our product uh, further. Um, so, like, we can delve deeper into our project, what we did uh, with Karspark in Poland. But uh, let me ask you first my question, my, my first question, without wasting any more time. Uh, so, as you see it, uh, in general, what are the challenges of modern retail execution today? And what should brewers, to do, should, should brewers do to cope with them and keep up with co consumer expectations? Um, in general, I would say, you know, there are two major challenges. The first challenge is definitely market complexity. Just the market is mature, consumer needs more and more sophisticated uh, services than it used to be. And also retailers compete with each, with each other and expect more tailored made actions. Consumers change, lots of them are now going to digital. We, we just have to follow them. So this is all complexity we need to handle in order to win the consumer. The second uh, issue I would like to touch, this is definitely a cost pressure. When the market is mature, it's, it's really difficult to grow. You should optimize your costs, especially nowadays when the high inflation puts pressure on, uh, on the costs uh, year over year. So uh, the first task um, I got was to invent an efficient service system for our beer coolers that we have placed into one of the biggest Polish retailers as the first and the only beverage producer. Second task was just to roll it out to the whole traditional trade market. 
uh, traditional trade is much more demanding as they are much more segmented at uh, different, different just outlets. So uh, we just have to make it more complex. And uh, additionally, we needed to have a instant insights and actions from image recognition during the store visit. So we have just considered many options, but at the end of the day, we decided that, that we need to have the image recognition technology. And uh, Vispera was the, let's say, the best option. So our main assumption was that uh, image recognition can support us was a contract execution based on pay for performance rules. And secondly, just the shortened visit time done by our representatives. We made a longer, uh, examined many solutions, but the most promising uh, was just a Vispa together with, with our Polish uh, company, Intercadra. Uh, they together won this competition and we have implemented a solution. Yes. As, In evidence, yes. I would just just um, say is that you know just other other companies, especially our competition, is now are trying to follow us. So uh, you could you could be let's say great in your company. You could hear that you are great, but once the market is seeing what you are doing, and then they are hmm, spontaneously trying to follow you. Uh, this is for me also just a satisfaction and just a proof that what we did this is a really a market market changer for us. Indeed, especially taking our last point, uh, been given the complexity of the retail execution market, so the, the leader pioneers like Karsberg uh, are setting standards and uh, others follow suit. And there, uh, like, you need to be equipped with this uh, best of breed uh, of technologies uh, when it comes especially to image recognition. Uh, yes, we understand the modern retail execution is challenging, but... Uh, we can maybe delve deeper further uh, into the specific challenges, uh, especially when uh, applying image recognition. So you been you are the perfect person to answer the, to, the, to this question. You've been leading image recognition for retail execution efforts uh, since now, I think 2018, 19. And and how did your experience evolve from the early days until today? And uh, if you can give us some specific challenges around it and your approach to solve them, it will be great for our audience. Uh, yeah, yeah. So naturally, uh, this is complicated and uh, very advanced technology. But the biggest challenges are, are always are always connected to it, because this is the place where people and processes are involved. So, you know, just Kalsberg, Polska, Field Force are, are, are real experts. They know the outlets very well. But in order to change their ways of working, we, we had to prepare well, both by working hand in hand uh, in field and, and, and just in the back office with the market development team. So it was very important to engage Field Force representatives in the projects. We, we call them pilots um, that helped us to, to shape the solution. After they became image recognition ambassadors, uh, then we could just roll it to the uh, to the total market. They also just helped us to introduce the retailers smoothly, uh, who also had some barriers like whether they could manage to operate the new system, whether the accuracy is really good enough, um, and just the whole let's say process that we have there. It was just helpful to to have these um, uh, Polish sales representatives just um, um, introducing the system to the to the business owners so that was about the the people about the change management that was for me just uh, the the main part of the success but of course there are the others and uh, and if we just talk about the technical challenges uh, naturally we have to just define build and test proper solution take into account all the interdependencies with other systems like SAP, with other countries that, that are within Carlsberg Group. So all this project management uh, together with uh, IT, this is also just a, a big chunk of, of work that must be done. Uh, so that was that. We had to integrate with our SFA system also just to run it smoothly. But and I think you know this is all doable and this is less important than the change management if we just take it. Uh, on the partnership level, and you have an agile project management approach, 
I think it is the most uh, efficient, uh, I would say, solution. Mm. And finally, what I would like to say, uh, you have to remember about the legal issues. Uh, it's, um, you know, just, um, it seems to be somehow away from the business, somehow um, artificial, but today the issues with the GDRPs, also with the data security, they are also very important. So um, without that, you will not run a successful solution. So as I said, just uh, change management probably is, is, is the biggest case and then uh, necessary, just a good technical solution plus uh, being very careful and um, you know, serious about the, the legal constraints that you, you have to consider. Yeah, um, obviously there are challenges to all, all things that will lead to a reward. So now I think maybe it's time to speak about the rewards. So but after overcoming all these challenges, uh, what, which results have uh, positively surprised you or like went beyond your expectations? Yeah, yeah. Um, firstly, I must say I was surprised with the recognition accuracy. Uh, th this is definitely the Vispera's advantage. This is this is hundred percent sure. I'm sure about this. So, um, I was observing the solution from time uh, just uh, from a few years ago, and at the beginning it was not very accurate and very expensive. So rather like a like a gadget, I would call it. Uh, then when we just started working with Vispera, I, I saw a really good accuracy that surprised me and also. Just uh, the, let's say the whole process and the costs of operations they were more reasonable, so so, so that's why we decided to go with this. Um, just just to give you an example, you know, just at the beginning there were there were situations when the image recognition was able to find the products that somehow the sales representative was missing. Uh, there were uh, they were declaring the let's say the products manually before the image recognition solution, and then you know just. Uh, we took the photo and photo was showing the products they did not found themselves, although they are paid for this. So, mm -hmm. of course, there are rare cases, but in such a case when then they get more money because they missed something that uh, just a machine had found, uh, that was uh, surprising for me. Mm -hmm. So that was that. And second, what I was just surprised, uh, that was the very warm adoption from the tool from the field force. Because as I said at the beginning, you know, just naturally they were afraid, they were not knowing, they have to change the ways of working. But after that, after they once they understood how does it work, uh, then you know just they took it as business as usual. And today, you know, when the new people are coming and for a few days, you know, just they do not have uh, the account yet and they have to just work manually because there is some issue, whatever, then com they complain because they saw how it could be with the image recognition automatically. They take a photo and get the answer. And then coming back to this era with manual declaration, they just scream. So from my perspective, this is again, you know, just if you have hundreds of people working around the country and they come back to you and they, they tell you that they need you and they appreciate the work that you do, this is much better than you know just a PowerPoint presentation. This is this is a real evidence of everyday just work. This is a million of visits in Poland. So this is a real proof that this is worth the money that we invest in this. Yeah, indeed. And that is the impact. Like especially the last example that you have given is striking. People coming to you that uh, that they are telling that they need it. So uh, from there, I can like I can ask you to. Picture the world before image recognition and after image recognition. And what is like in, in a few words, how would you describe the impact of doing retail execution with image recognition and with Vispera in particular? Yeah, you know, just um, many countries just concentrate on the just on the efficiency, so on the visit time. On the visit time. Mm, yes, if you just implement it uh, properly, um, you may save some time on the visit. That's true. But from my, my point, uh, the most important was just the quality of the data that we get. So, in fact, we know whether the services that we contracted with our consumers, I mean, with the shops, whether they are delivered or not, what is really going on on the, uh, on, on the, on the market in, in our shops. And in case there are some discussion with the retailer, that have a uh, so at the end of the day, 
also just um, just the in the photos and seeing that here you have this one two as it's missing there is something not done then the market execution improved uh, if we are just talking about this let's say time savings in Poland it does not happen you know, at the end of the day because just once we just started using image recognition then we just started tracking more so this is of course faster to take a photo and get the answer, you know, what is missing in the system. But once we just, you know, start in tracking on surprise and other just uh, elements that we are not uh, just uh, tracking manually, then the total time of the visit did not uh, improve. Uh, but as I said, it's not because, you know, the tool is, uh, is bad. This is because the tool is so good that we just wanted to roll it out to the fields that we are not monitoring manually before. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, so it, it, it was a very nice description of the journey until today, um, along with impact and, and how it affects the, the life of the, of the field agent, but also the, the, the greater impact in, across the organization. But uh, we, we believe that image recognition has uh, a lot of opportunities for today and also in the future. Uh, could you also uh, share your thoughts uh, on that regard in that regard as well? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. You know, just um, I think you know, just uh, that Vispera is just a smart choice because from one side it is advanced. You know? So while we're just talking to the uh, to the other companies, seeing other solutions, of course, this is better. This is here and there, and so so everybody has some. And some nice spots, uh, but at the end of the day, I could say that uh, what Vispera offers is, uh, I would say, just um, up to the market. This is this, this this is a good quality solution, especially the recognition accuracy is fine. But also, you know, they could just work closely with you as a as a partner, as a kind of a strategic partner, because when we just talk to the let's say to to the other companies, sometimes they could offer. You know, a smart solution, but because they are too big, then they, you know, just the, the timeline, the the roadmap is so long, they could not, you know, just uh, tailor made the solution to, to your needs closely. So, <clears throat> uh, Vispera is kind of a, I would say, smart choice. So, just big enough and competent enough to deliver you whatever you want. And on the other hand, you know, just uh, not too big to to be a partner for you, which was very important for me, that once we have needs, then you discuss and you implement it quickly. And I think, you know, that would be one of the key, let's say, um, characteristics for, for, for a companies like this in the future, because um, I think, you know, that the basic, let's say, recognition is not a, it's, it's not a big thing. Many companies will do that. So then you have to make it better than the others and you have to be able to, to work on the business level, to, to, to work closely with the business development to cut the solution in a way that would be good for you. And uh, I think this kind of, let's say, I would say um, consultancy role is an absolutely strong side of this mm -hmm. If we go further, you know, what we could do more I guess that there are, let's say, two two areas, you know, just one definitely is just um, linking the service from Vispera, so, you know, just the image recognition, photo recognition, with the integration with the cash register systems. Because mm -hmm. what we want today, we would like to have a promotion, that's great, but for us, you know, executed properly promotion, perfectly executed promotion would be, first of all, that uh, that the consumer will get the proper price and it, it comes from the cash register system. Secondly, that in the communication right, what we spend also. So we have to have a proper price for the consumer and we have to have a proper communication. If we have, you know, the communication, but then, you know, it's, it's not in the, let's say, in the cash register, then there is a situation, maybe some consumers will just get it and then they will not take uh, these promos. On the other hand, if we have only just the information from the invoice, from the receipt, whatever, but then you know you don't know whether it was communicated well, then you don't know whether you know really consumer did not like the promotion, maybe they did not, not they did not know about the promo. So this 
uh, the integration with the cast registers is absolutely an opportunity uh, for the future in that uh, kind of um, business. And secondly, I think you know that <coughs> retail uh, should be more, let's say, um, uh, interested in that solution. And the companies that are producers, or just other, let's say, market players, but beyond FMCG, like medicine and maybe agriculture, uh, they should use it more. Um, for sure, there is no brainer that uh, this technology will will help them. Uh, as we just talked about the retailers, I see that there are some retailers trying to just invest in cameras already. Uh, because what they say, and I found it, you know, it's reasonable that if there are lots of people coming from producers and taking photos, maybe it's better, you know, just to, to take a photo once as a retailer and then just to distribute the results from that. So no need to, to go there, no need to take a photo, especially in modern trade when there are big volumes, um, you could accommodate the cost, I think. And I think this, let's say, retailer's role will increase in the future in the... Uh, in the image recognition and uh, for sure producer will push them because we need it you know and we are the big player we have hundreds of people in the field lots of people do not have it and they would like to have an execution so they will for sure push the retailers to deliver the the proof that the service is delivered so i think this is that you know just retailers and let's say other um, sectors i mentioned yeah. Especially integration with the retailer systems and that retailers also pick up the benefits of this technology is key. And taking this occasion, I can also briefly talk about uh, what Vispera is doing around uh, in the retailer space uh, by putting fixed cameras on the shelves. Uh, we are also bringing the benefits of these solutions to the reach of the retailers. And uh, I mean, building from what you said, Mr. Wawrowski, uh, there can be cooperative models between retailers and FMCGs sharing the same infrastructure, especially in the modern retail, modern uh, grocery retail, to to make uh, the data, on-shelf data, available at all times, even more frequently than it is uh, in the current practice uh, of uh, letting people uh, take pictures in the stores. So that's one piece. And second piece, I know you also mentioned about the greater benefits of image recognition. All these boil down to integrating the visual data with the with the business systems, with this with this data, with the other kind of data that uh, that can uh, create greater impact. I, I think uh, not just in this domain, but in across many domains, integrations of data silos into into uh, common platforms will be uh, will be even uh, a will be a reality of, uh, of, uh, of the future. So like we are uh, getting to the end uh, to wrap it up as a, as a, as a leader, uh, a technology leader who, um, who led these efforts of bringing <coughs> into an organization and maybe to guide our audience uh, what would you be looking for and uh, for in an IR image recognition solution partner, and how would you compare, especially Vispera and Intercadra partnership in that regard? You know, just uh, I think that uh, it was already said in many places, but ju just to wrap it up, up really, uh, basically I need three things in that uh, in this project: F competence, uh, partnership, and cost effectiveness. So just the competence is uh, is just a no brainer. Just supplier knows his job and offers the best solution available. Just constantly improve that, and just and you you Vispera does it uh, perfectly. The other point, this is the partnership that we discussed. So so that means that that the supplier listen what we really need and tries to adapt the solution to this. So Vispera and the Kadra, who is delivering us people that do some of our visits, as acts for me as a business consultancy, recommending you know, best technology and also ways of working that is you know best coming from their knowledge and experience. And finally, the costs, you know, the cost effectiveness. That means that I have a competitive offer for service needed. So for the scope, for quality for the speed, 
and this is you know just the service that brings the added value to the business and it it does not have to be the cheapest on the on the market but just the best value for for the money we spend uh, for the things we get and that's why we we choose vispera in our tender yeah thank you mr boroski and you know this old saying uh, i'm not rich enough to pay the cheapest <laughs> you know so that makes sense I, the key keyword i think also the best value for the money spent um i'm i'm particularly thanking you mr boroski like we've been working together since like four years now we started uh, this cooperation collaboration uh, with a very small scope and now we are getting to 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 prominent scopes uh, in our uh, in our uh, project in Poland and i see many further opportunities to grow even further and i'd like to thank you for enabling this and i wish you uh, we wish uh, to each other great success thank you yeah. well, absolutely pleasure is mine you know just all the best to you to your company i also i also think that we uh, we could do just a great things in, in in the coming future so hoping to do that thank you again for having me here thank you jacob for for this interview thank you thank you mr borowski today uh, we had mr borowski of karsberg poland uh, we hope you enjoyed our talk today and we hope to see you again in our next interview bye bye